You see, love when you're hurt. Give more than you're asked. Number three, go farther than you're required. Verse 41, if anyone forces you to go one mile, go with them two miles. See, it was a law. It was a law in Rome that soldiers could force Jews to carry their full equipment for one mile, but only one mile because it was exhausting and it was degrading for the Jew. And Jesus says, go a second mile. The first mile is law. The second mile is love. And think of the opportunity you will have during that second mile. As the soldier asks you, why are you doing this? And you say, let me tell you about my Jesus. The soldier's all ears on the second mile, right? As you walk along, you are weighed down with the soldier's equipment. You're humiliated and you're asking to go farther. And you begin to say, yeah, he makes a way where there ain't no way. He rises up from an empty grave. Ain't no sinner that he can't save. Let me tell you about my Jesus. His love is strong and his grace is free. And the good news is he'll do for you what he's done for me. This happens on the second mile. Listen, one time Richard was being beaten on his feet. By the way, did you know this? He never walked again the same way after his 14 years in prison. As he was being beat on his feet, he, uh, he started to tell the, the guard uh, about Jesus who was beaten all over. And when the guard was done and Richard could barely speak because of the pain, he said this, wait, wait, I'm not done. Please give me five more minutes. He said, I want to tell you about the cross. You know what? Those communist Russians, they had to keep bringing in new guards. Why? Because the Christians were winning them all to Christ and then they weren't beating them anymore. I love that. One of my favorite preachers, Stephen Lawson, says this, the gospel requires that we must be willing to go anywhere, do anything, pay any price with anyone. Are you willing to do what is needed to go where he sends you, no matter the cost to yourself. That's what he calls us to as Christians. It's a cross that we carry, not a couch that we sit on. That's love in action. Listen, I remember a year and a half ago, we lost our 23-year-old son. 